Hello and welcome back to Heider Bilzi Ride. Today we've got a farm truck. Now it's just a 79 series Land Cruiser, almost I'd say as per usual. And this one here has got more lights than beacon. But before I show you everything, let's roll the intro. So the customer bought his own lights, they were already on there. This is the second time we've got this in here. He's got his steady lights in the front, steady lights on the roof. And then he's got more steady lights on the sides and more steady lights on the sides. And then we have got Light Force Rock 20s in the back here. And then we've got more Light Force Rock 20s in the back here. And then every one of these toolbox doors has got a National Lunar Light on it. I think we've never installed more lights into a car than we have on this one here. But the real cool part of this, in my opinion, is behind the seats here. Let me show you. I go around the other side and I'll show you what's in here. So here we have got our 79 series system, one of the earlier ones where we were still using the Bantech batteries. And we have added a second battery. So this has now got 220 amp hours of lithium storage behind here. We have got our Victron Smart Shunt, fuses for the DC hub, DC hub itself, 40 amp Red Arc DC DC charger, solar input and the charge input from the front battery so the whole dual battery system including the smart shunt from Victron where you get Bluetooth connectivity to your phone to monitor charge level and voltage of these batteries but also the voltage of the start battery under the bonnet it's all behind the seats here you got the big fuse here for the 2000 watt red arc inverter that is in the tray for charging and everything and the cool thing is, let me show you, once you put the seats up, everything's gone. You would not even know all of this existed and all tucked into the nice spot behind here. This customer has also got a Bushman center console fridge. And as you can imagine, a ton of light switches that he can turn on and off. So the whole center console full of light switches and then the one spot and next to the ashtray, it's got another light switch, right hand side of the steering wheel, even more 
light switches. And in the back here, we have got the 2000 watt inverter. We have got a travel buddy plug and point here and a fridge plug and point. It's a kick ass travel buddy that the customer supplied in here. And then up here, we have got another accessory socket and a twin USB socket. The accessory socket is there so you can put another light into the awning, just in case you need another light, because you never know. And then obviously while you're here camping, the fridge on a fridge slide will usually be in here. And you can put your phone here and charge it. See, this door opens up as well. Oh, just really careful so you can see there's the national lunar light there. So when he's out camping and he switches to camp mode, these three doors can be open. National lunar lights on on orange will make for a really nice campsite with that orange light that's got the same light temperature as your bonfire. It's a really great setup and I do like the open space because you can put so much stuff in here and it's lightweight, extremely lightweight because you've just got the canvas on here. Brilliant setup, I reckon. On this one, we've also got our charge points on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the dash. We've got the XRS372 way, as you can see here, already connected, plugged into the dash. There's also Department of the Interior center console where all the extra switches, the carling style switches are in. Door pockets as well with speakers. We did not install those. They were already in here. As you can see also underneath here, we've got the ARB twin piston compressor with the PDP bracket. So you can plug your inflation hose in here, turn it on from here. And that is connected to the lithium battery system as well. So you don't have to have your engine running. You can pump the compressor up with the engine off. So you don't have to inhale exhaust fumes while you're pumping up your tires and you can just use it to blow things. Like for example, the interior of the car out with the air gun, just in case you get sand on longer camping trips. That is pretty much it. I would say all it needs now is our patch of approval, but it's already got it. Thanks for watching and see you for the next one.